So I've been watching way too much Rogue One recently, and after seeing his Linux on a Power Mac G5 video, I felt inspired, and I thought we'd go try and get Lubuntu 16.04 installed on my old iBook G3. So I've not tried this yet. All I've done is used my MacBook here to write the disk image to that memory stick. No idea if this is going to be able to do anything, but we can but try. I haven't got an SSD or anything fancy in here. <laughs> okay, that's booting up into Mac OS X. The screen's really dark. Very noisy old hard drive. So let's give this a minute, make sure it does actually boot into Mac OS X, because I've not fired this thing up in about a year and a half. I know some of these old PowerPC Macs can boot from USB, not sure if this is one of them. Probably something I should have checked. <laughs> Man, these things take ages. Come on. It wasn't all that long ago that I was using this thing as my main laptop, uh, probably about five years ago now. Even then it was quite outdated. I can't actually remember what version of macOS 10 this is going to be starting up into. I'm about to guess probably 10.3? Oh no, it's like 10.2. Okay, jump cut while I enter my password. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> oh, we can really hear that hard drive. Ah, uh, that's fine, we can ignore that, it just doesn't like the Linux file system. Okay, let's just double check what we've got on here. Not sure if you can see that. That's macOS 10.2.8. Uh, which if I recall is what this machine will originally came with. So. I must have got bored and decided to run the install disks. Okay, so what I'll do is cut the video off, shut this thing down because it's going to take ages. And we'll try booting off that memory stick. Okay, so apparently we need to try holding the option key. Powering this thing on. Okay, so we've got Macintosh HD. No USB drive. Oh wait, no, I've got a little loading cursor there, let's zoom in a notch. It's thinking about it. Still thinking about it. There's only USB 1.1 on this thing, so this is not going to be a very fast process if it even does work. And, no. No look there, okay. Well, <laughs> that was unsuccessful. I've got a USB DVD burner, so what I'll do is I'll burn this to a DVD instead of trying to boot this old thing from USB. And we'll be back in a moment. So, while the DVD burns, I've taken a brief intermission and having some M&M's hot chocolate. Which does have mini M&M's in it, well I should say it did, and as soon as you put the hot water in, they all melt and sink to the bottom of the cup. So, uh, BSA. <sighs> hope this doesn't take too much longer. So, I've gone ahead and connected my external USB DVD drive thing. While this does have a built-in CD drive, it is just that, a CD drive. And unfortunately, the new ISOs of Linux are much bigger than a normal CD, so kind of stuck. Anyway, let's close the drive and see how we go on this time. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Into the startup manager thing again, and it decides. Okay, drive spinning up, good sign. It's reading something from the disk. It's 
Still thinking about it. Before anyone asks, yes, I did get the Power PC version. Well, hey, there we go. Got ourselves a little tux. A little USB icon as well. Excellent. Oops. Focus. <laughs> right. It's definitely taking its time. It's not letting me click on anything yet. Okay, I'm on my book. Right. Okay. We have our cursor. DVD drive lights blinking. Will we get any further? That's the question. I went with the... Ah! Okay, there we go. Right, the default option is live. Let's give that a go. I'll be honest, I really wasn't expecting this to work. <laughs> I went with Lubuntu rather than Ubuntu. Um, apology for not pronouncing that right. Just because this iBook only has 640 megabytes of RAM and some old ATI graphics chipsets that wasn't even great when it was new, so... I'm hoping, with Lubuntu, we might have just enough RAM to do something else. I do have an iBook... Um, iBook... Airport card in this thing, uh, but it's the old 802.11b stuff. So even if we do get this thing online, it's not going to be particularly pleasant. Okay, loading RAM disk. Zoom in a bit for you guys. And the camera decides to focus. Nope. <laughs> well, I tried. I'm not even going to try running any kind of screen capture software on this thing. Because um, it's just going to put us all in for a bad time. What I'll do is I'll pause the video here and as soon as something interesting happens, I'll start it up again. Okay, looks like we're getting somewhere. I apologize for my hand, I have to keep it here. Otherwise the camera goes completely out of focus. So you are just going to have to live with my hand being floating here until I can sort this out. I went to a white screen said some stuff, and now we're at a blue screen, which is marginally better. And hopefully in a minute or two we should start seeing something happening. Hopefully in a few minutes we should start seeing something happening. <laughs> DVD drive still thinking about what it's doing. Hard drive going a little bit. I'll try moving my hand away slowly. Yes, thank you, camera. <laughs> I think it's when the screen goes black, it just gets confused in what it's doing. <laughs> it's alright, iBook. Got all day. So if you are thinking of installing Linux on your own iBook, take this as a consideration of what you might be letting yourself in for. So again, I'll pause the video and wait for something to happen, I guess. <laughs> okay, status update. It has been about five minutes now. The screen went black, some more stuff came up here about the graphics card and being able to find the bias for it. And now we're just on this black screen. Still disk activity, and we've now just got a mouse. So uh, hopefully we're getting somewhere soon. I will be back. Okay, and about two minutes after the last update, we have success. Um, we have Ubuntu booted, and uh, it actually seems kind of responsive. Let's see if we can open something random. That's not too bad. 
Um, it seems to have detected the airport card. Uh, down here somewhere. Yes, there we go. Right, rather than play around with it from the CD, let's go and get this installed. And as I said, this is 16.04, so the latest release currently out for PowerPC. So hopefully we should be able to run some quite modern software on this old thing. Definitely better than 10.2 anyway. <laughs> okay, maybe not as responsive loading the installer up. We can only ask so much of this hardware, I suppose. In the last year or so, when I used this as my main last laptop, I did have Ubuntu on it before all the Unity stuff in. I think it was 8.04 I ran on here. Uh, it wasn't too bad, actually. It made do. Back then, I couldn't really afford getting a new laptop as I can now, so make did with what I got. Um, Linux is a very good way of prolonging the hardware life. Okay, we are in fact English. Can't seem to do anything just yet. Let's see very much. Yeah, hopefully you can see that okay. I haven't got a VGA capture card unfortunately. That would have been much better than pointing the camera at the screen. Okay, not sure what's happening with the continue button. We'll try and press it anyway. <laughs> Apologies if I've been snuffling on video, I've got a little bit of a cold at the moment. Oh. Okay. CD drive stopped. And the machine seems to have frozen. That's not good. Oh dear. Yeah, mouse is now frozen. Come on, we've got this far. Oh dear. The machine's not getting overly warm or anything. Brightness and uh, volume control is not functioning. Oh man, I really hope I don't have to install, restart this. Nope, it looks like we are frozen. <sighs> okay, what I'll do is I think I'll restart this machine. When you get to that first prompt where you can type in live, I think there's an option to go straight into the installer. So rather than put you guys through all that again, I'll sit through it all again, and I'll start the camera up if we can get back into the installer. I knew this was not going to go well. Okay, so things are not going well. I waited absolutely ages for the whole thing to boot again. There wasn't an install option, but there wasn't what said no splash, which instead of having that blue screen just told me exactly what was going off. Didn't look like there was any problems this time, but as soon as we got to the desktop, I did that thing where it flashed the screen and... Again, we are completely frozen. But, I am not prepared to give up yet. What I will do is go get Zubuntu, or, you know, X... Ubuntu, the one with XFCE anyway. Burn that to a disk and we shall try again. But uh, nope, the Ubuntu looks like it might be too much for this machine. Hmm. So what's been a millisecond for you has been well over an hour for me. <laughs> In fact, probably about an hour and a half. I'm going to have to leave this video here for today. Unfortunately, I am completely out of blank DVDs. That was the last one I used for the Ubuntu, and it didn't work. I've unsuccessfully tried uh, putting it on a CDR um, and things like that, and it has just not worked. There's nothing showing up other than the Macintosh HD at all. So, this will be part one. I shall go buy some more blank DVDs, if I can find any at a decent price, and we will return and hopefully get Linux installed on this damn thing. Well, thanks for watching this episode anyway.